Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a hot mess of a DIY for these super cute Halloween and fall signs. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're gonna need are two one by 12 by sixes. Um, and these are just standard quality. I didn't get um, the, the quality boards just because I don't need them to be perfect. Um, I am going to sand off the barcodes here and then distress the edges and then go ahead and paint these. When you are done painting, um, they should look like this. You can see on the sides I didn't do all the way, and that is because we're going to be framing these signs. Um, and these are going to be double-sided, so I'm going to let this side dry, and then the other side I am going to paint as soon as these are dry, and we're gonna do the other side white, and I am going to use a white um, acrylic paint for the other side. Okay, so a couple things that I wanted to add for you guys. Um, I use chalkboard paint or chalk paint for the black on here um, but that's just because that was what I had on hand you don't necessarily need to use black you can use an acrylic or um, sometimes the latex paint will work sometimes what I've noticed with the latex paint though is it tends to peel um, even if you poly over it it will peel um, easier than like an acrylic paint an acrylic paint is much more sturdy um, that's what we use on all of our furniture that we make, things like that. Um, Mike's in the background, he's making um, a couple of orders that we have currently, so that's what all the craziness is in the background. But um, And then for the um, sides you're gonna be using, so for the sides I'm going to be using inch and a half furring strips. Um, and you can, you can find all of this lumber at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I get mine from Menards. Um, that's just where we buy all of our um, lumber. And then I use foam brush. I use foam brushes for all of my um, projects, whether it be stain or poly or painting. Um, we do also have um, a paint spray gun um, that we use for um, our larger projects. Um, and then we have so we have like one that's always filled with white, and then one that's always filled with like stain and things like that. So um, yeah, all right. Well. After this dries, I will do the white coat and then we will move on to the next part. All right, now that I have both of the planks evenly covered, I'm going to let this dry. And while we let it dry, we're gonna go inside and make our vinyl stencils for the lettering. Okay guys, so the next step is going to be making your, um, your vinyl um, stencils for painting on um, either a Cricut or a Silhouette. I'm gonna show you quickly what I do on my Cricut to set up for a sign, I have done another video as to how I use a Cricut um, to cut vinyl um, and create vinyl stencils, so I will link that down below for you guys um, and up here as well. Just real quick, I'm gonna give you like an overview of what I do. So when I'm ready to cut um, my vinyl and I have ungrouped everything, um, I will make sure that I have the right sizes selected. So I've got a 12 by 12 mat ready to go. Um, so I have all of my letters arranged on here so that they cut nicely um, and I can kind of cut them apart and arrange them on the sign. Um, and then I have my material set to vinyl and the material that I use. Okay, so just real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the kind of material that I will use. Um, now, this is an Oracle vinyl. This is um, something that I purchased on Amazon, 12 inches wide, and then it's like a really super thick roll. Um, but for the most part, for home projects, I will use, it's a peel and stick, like a tack paper. Um, it is found um, over in the cupboard section of Lowe's. Otherwise, you can find it in the, um, kind of the utensil um, kitchen aisle at Walmart and I get the 12 inch wide clear vinyl. Um, 
and it comes in a nice thick roll. This is about half done um, or half used and I still have quite a bit left. Um, but yeah, it's just a clear vinyl. Now, the only thing that's tricky is this vinyl is much thicker than this vinyl. Um, so if I am using my Cricut with this, I will have it set to the actual vinyl setting. And if I am using the clear tack paper, I will set it somewhere in between vinyl and paper. And that seems to be the sweet spot. But my blade on my Cricut is getting a little bit dull. So actually I do have it set to vinyl for this right now. Um, so you'll have to play around with it a little bit to see um, how sharp or dull your blade is. If you go too deep, it's gonna cut right through your um, contact paper and that is not what you want. So um, anyways, I just wanted to add in that little tip. So I am going to go ahead and cut all of my letters apart and then I will show you what I do next. guys so moving on to the trim of these signs um, I have gone ahead and marked out where I need to cut next step after you have your trim cut down is to stain them whatever color that you wish I am doing um, special walnut by Minwax Okay guys, so the next step is you want to secure the um, the boards down. I'm just using an air nailer to secure the sides down. Um, um, so like I said, I'm just going to secure this down on top like this um, with the air nail gun and then I will be all done. And this, you guys, 
is the final result. It's kind of bad lighting right now because the sun is going down. Um, I will wait to take pictures here in a little bit. That is going to wrap it up for this DIY video. I hope you enjoyed the Hocus Pocus and Harvest Gather signs. Together, the both of the signs were only like, I wanna say they cost me less than $30. Um, some of the things I already had on hand, so that would be including those. Um, I think I spent 20 bucks to make those two signs, but if you include the vinyl um, and then like the white paint, things like that, probably right around $30. If you guys haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I have lots of other like hot mess, mama DIYs, you know, like DIYs that you can fit in in between feeding and cooking and cleaning and working and all of the fun things. Yep, those are the DIYs that I specialize in. Okay guys, I will see you on Tuesday for another really fun video. And then on Thursday or Friday, I have a DIY chalkboard video coming for you um, for this area of the dining room. I'm super excited. Um, they're gonna be very long and tall chalkboards. I'm so pumped for that one. So stay tuned for that on Friday. On Tuesday, I will have a um, Target shop with me and I will see you guys then. Okay, bye guys.